So good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. Today is July 1st, 2024. And I just want to give you guys a warning. So I just woke up. I still got on my bonnet. I still got on my night shirt. My night shirt got a stain on it. I got bentonite clay on my face. So don't be surprised at what you look <laughs> at what you see. But y'all on this channel, y'all gonna see that it's gonna be as raw as possible. And it's like, why not show like what I look like when I wake up and you know I'm not that type of person like I'm not like girly girl if that makes sense so I don't be all done up anyways to begin with but anyways you guys how are you happy Monday I'm surprised I had this much energy maybe because I slept in y'all this is the latest I have ever slept in I woke up at 9 43 9 45 and that's late for me in the morning but it has a lot to do with it. I just work three 12 hour shifts back to back and I'm exhausted and so I am off until Thursday so I'm going to take advantage of these next three days I'm going to be lazy I'm supposed to do my mom's hair I need to go grocery shopping as per usual so I just wanted to come and chit chat with you guys let me know in the comment section down below if you like these type of random chit chat so yeah, what are we going to talk about today? What y'all got planned for 4th of July? I'm working 4th of July and I picked it up. That's my OT shift. I picked it up because I was like, I don't do much on 4th of July to begin with. And it's time and a half. So why not? Y'all, this is how much clay I have left after doing me and my son's face. So I made a little bit too much. And if I was washing my hair, I would have put the remainder of my hair, but... I'm not washing it today. So, you guys, I just basically wanted to talk to you guys about... Well, I really don't know. I really don't have no game plan. I do need to go upstairs so I can put my phone into the wall. My phone is about to die. And that's what I'm recording on. So, maybe we can sit right here and chat. So... I guess we can talk about like just chasing people. I look uh oh my gosh. It is what it is. But um it's starting to tighten. See it's starting to dry. But <clears throat> I guess we can talk about like chasing people, you know. Like I feel like I give the best advice, but I don't follow my own <laughs> advice, which is like crazy and something I need to work on. But I am the way I am. A lot of it has to do with my childhood and growing up. So I think that's why I have an issue. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I'm out of breath. Hold on. That's why I have an issue. I wouldn't say that it's an issue, but that's why it's hard for me to let people go. Because sometimes I just want people to be around me. To love on me, I love on them. Um, so a lot of times I find myself chasing people and chasing relationships <laughs> that I should not be chasing. The only person I should be chasing is the man above, Jesus, Jehovah, you know, um, my heavenly father. That's the only person I should be chasing. But I find myself recently, like my husband is a family man and... I'm all about family too, but it's hard for me to let my guard down. Like, I don't know. It's weird. Like, I can't really explain it. But, anywho. So, I, <laughs> my husband taught me into reaching out to someone in my family. And even my 13-year-old was like, mama, no. <laughs> my son was like, why are you going to put yourself through that? Like, my son was not for it at all. But I was like, okay. Let me get the benefit of the doubt again, because I've been giving the benefit of the doubt my entire life, and it has literally done nothing but cause me anger. It makes me very, very angry. It makes me very frustrated. It makes me sad. It makes me think of thoughts that I shouldn't be thinking of. So, anywho, despite what my son told me not to do, and despite what my gut and the spirit <laughs> told me not to do I went ahead and did it anyways just to be proven right 
Like, with this person, I'm like, damn, like, can you prove me wrong for once, once in my life? Prove me wrong. Like, I want you to prove me wrong, but you keep proving me right. <sighs> so this person proved me right once again. This person is not going to change. This person hasn't changed. And it's like, why am I continuously chasing a person that doesn't care if I'm dead or alive, <laughs> doesn't care about my kids, they don't care about my well-being, they don't care about the well-being of my kids. Like, they just clearly could give two rat's tails. So I was like, you know what, let me just stop, because without this person in my life, honestly, my life is happier, it's easier, it's not so confusing, 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 <laughs> um, it's just better, like, when I try to talk to this person, like, it literally brings in a lot of confusion, a lot of lies, a lot of chaos, and y'all know what those characteristics are, <laughs> It's a different story for a different day. But yeah, so I'm saying all that ramble jamble to say that if you have to chase someone and that relationship don't come naturally, let it go. If that person is causing you chaos, if they're causing you stress, if they're causing you anxiety, if they are causing you a lot of anger, a lot of frustration, um, they're messing with you mentally, emotionally, spiritually, let them go. Let them go so that's what i am still learning to do to let them go and that's the same thing with friends as well like if you feel like you have to chase somebody for a friendship let it go or you can just speak with that person you know every once in a while but know that it's just that just so you know a conversation and nothing more it's not like a real friendship because I feel like friendships and relationships with family is kind of it's not it's it's like you're in a marriage with that person in a sense and when I say don't come for me when I say in a marriage it's because both parties are all parties gotta work equally as hard to maintain that relationship whatever it is friendship um marriage boyfriend girlfriend like whatever that relationship is it takes two. And if you feel like you are the only one that's like pushing for stuff, stop pushing. Just stop pushing. Eventually, the relationship will dissolve itself uh, naturally without you having to just straight up cut the relationship off. If you get what I'm saying? Because I feel like when you cut relationships off and you say how you really truly feel, that person isn't going to be receptive to it and it could be like a bad breakup versus just letting it naturally dissolve on its own. And you also have to learn how to pick your battles because me, I'm honest. At least I try to be as honest as possible without causing conflict. I don't like conflict. I really don't. I absolutely hate it because conflict takes too much of my energy. It takes too much time. I don't have time. I don't have the mental capacity. I'm not doing it. So, um, that's why I try to be honest up front without causing a confrontation. But then I realized that people, when I'm honest with them, they, they're going to say the opposite of what I'm saying. Or they'll be like, okay, you have a point, but, and then they continue with the same behavior. So it's just like, you know what? Let me mind my business. Let me focus on me, my kids, my husband, Jehovah, you know, um, let me just focus on the things and the people that matters most, you know, and let everything else go. Like, I'm getting older, you know, I have a lot of things going on in my life for the good, and I don't have time to be going back and forth with nobody. Nobody. You want to be stupid? Be stupid on your own. Keep me out of it. So, yeah, how do you guys, like, handle conflict? Um, do you find yourself chasing people, chasing relationships? Do you have a tight knit relationship with God? Do you have a tight knit relationship with your family, friends, coworkers? Yeah. 
So y'all, that's it and that's all. I just wanted to do like a little chit chat. And I think I'm going to start doing random chit chats um, just to keep myself engaged with you guys. And I do want to be open and honest with you all, but I don't want, I still have to maintain my privacy at the same time. So I'm going to give you guys like, I guess little story times or chit chats, but not going into like details so if you guys are able to follow along with what i'm saying then you will understand the message that i'm trying to convey so yeah yeah so this is getting tight um my son he cooked um breakfast for both himself and my youngest son he cooked the sausage sandwich and i did absolutely nothing nothing at all because i told my son you have to learn how to be self-sufficient on your own, like, without me. So I said, just picture that I'm not here at all. You need to go downstairs and cook. <laughs> so I was downstairs with him, but I literally let him do everything by himself from finding the cutting board to putting the oil in the pan to washing. Well, he already washes dishes. He, he already cleans. Like, my son has a little bit of OCD. He don't like dirty areas, messy areas. So he cleans as is on his own. But I want him to be comfortable in the kitchen, um, they do everything else on their own for the most part anyways, aside from cooking. So I want him to be more comfortable in the kitchen. So he cooked a sausage sandwich and I like that's something small, but to me, I am very proud of him because he did it on his own. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to teach the boys now. Like, well, the oldest at least to get in the kitchen and cook, even if it's something small, um, you need to be able to feed yourself and feed your brother so yeah you guys um so i didn't eat what time is it so, i don't even know what time it is i think it's after 11 11 o'clock in the morning so i'm gonna wash this stuff off my face shortly i'm gonna fix myself some tea i'm not gonna eat breakfast and you guys i wish i could show you my body well maybe i can hold on let me fix the camera I'm going to try to show y'all what my body looking at as much as possible. But again, I do have on my night shirt. This stain is from hair dye. So don't mind the stain. So <clears throat> I have clearly been losing, I guess, body mass. Because the scale is pretty much staying the same numbers. <laughs> but I know that I have uh, lost weight or body mass because my scrub pants. I was at work the last two days. And <clears throat> I was able to fit my scrub pants. And now I have to tie it like extra, extra, extra tight. In order to get my pants to stay up because they kept falling down. So let me show y'all what I'm looking like right now. So this is my body. And y'all haven't been eating as much. This is my stomach. It's not as bloated as it normally is. I was trying to show y'all. Wait, hold on. Yeah, so this is what I'm looking like. <clears throat> so yeah, so my goal... Like, right now, I'm just going to put it out there. I don't care. I weigh one... Let me see. Last night, I was at 171. Let me weigh myself again. And my goal <clears throat> is to get to... I want to get back down to 145. So, right now, I'm at 170. And my goal is to get to 145. Um, But I feel like 145 may be too small. Like, I don't want to look like... Like I'm sick or something is wrong with me. Um, because I like my little... I mean, if I didn't have a stomach, honestly, I probably wouldn't be trying to lose weight. It's just my stomach that I need to get rid of and some of my arms. So, yeah. But, you guys, I'm going to go ahead. I think that's enough rambling for today. Unorganized <laughs> rambling for today. So I'm going to go ahead and wash this stuff off my face. I'm going to go have my tea. I'm not going to eat breakfast. I will eat something later on, probably around 2 or 3 o'clock. And then I may go work out today in the garage as well. But yeah, you guys, if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll talk to you later. Bye!